whenever we are using any kind of uh, online plagiarism detector that means our work is going online so next time when we are just uh, going for the online plagiarism detector uh, maybe our work uh, have uh, gone online on internet and uh, it can show 100% plagiarism in that case so there are different plagiarism detectors i'll just uh, go with them now now first of all we will discuss about the free plagiarism checkers right most of us uh, most of us or i would say all of us cannot just purchase those paid plagiarism checkers right our organizations can go for those plagiarism checkers uh, bigger universities can go and purchase purchase those, those and can have an access of those uh, plagiarism checkers but we just use the free plagiarism checkers but most of us don't know the free, free plagiarism detectors also so here are some of the free checkers dupli checker copy leaks qui text small seo uh, tools plague tracker plagiarism detector copyscape urkund plaid scan grammarly and from here of all i would just uh, recommend grammarly and urkund for the same from the free uh, i think which are the most reliable uh, uh, plagiarism checkers right uh, when we talk about the paid we were talking about the free ones even grammarly is paid right uh some other uh, qui text is also paid so some of the uh, plagiarism checkers are free as well as paid versions right so these are the best paid plagiarism checkers turnitin scribber paper rater qui text quillboard and bibme and uh, all of uh, from all of these turnitin quillboard these are the most popular ones so you can avoid all the allegations of the plagiarism through awareness and honest effort yes it's very true now this was all about the theory of plagiarism before going further i would like to ask is there any problem or uh, which you just need to understand uh, previously we have discussed about uh, different types of plagiarisms why it is so important to just remove the plagiarism uh, if anybody is having any kind of question here you can you may ask otherwise we will proceed further anybody having any question uh hello ma'am yes yes ma'am uh, ma'am urkund is a free plagiarism checker yes it's free version it's free uh, it's a free one but the ss is being the ss is being given to the organizations okay yes the Thank organizations you. are getting that ss <laughs> few time back i was also just uh, thinking that urkund is paid one but it is free one uh, quillboard okay. is also uh, i would uh, recommend quillboard also quillboard is also one of the best option uh, free version as well as the paid version right and the paid version is also not uh, that much uh, very high if we'll say it's not that much costly okay okay, okay. any, any other okay. question hello yes uh, ma'am uh, i want to know about the turnitin plagiarism but how okay. will we uh, get the report of turnitin because it's paid <laughs> okay okay so uh, the you have to use turnitin through your organization if the organization is providing you with the ss for the same uh, we get the password we get the user id for the same if your organization is not having the ss when i talk about the organization i am talking about the institute and the universities or schools if they have paid it and uh, they are providing you with the ss uh, username and password to their uh, employees to their uh, faculty members or to the students uh, if i'll talk about the harvard universities and some other universities out of india they are providing the ss to their students also right so i would say turn or uh, if you just want to get it checked uh, your paper internet in you may have some network or link that means if you are uh, your friend or some other colleague is uh, in that university in which they are having that ss he or she can also check it but you have to see that that person should be reliable one is it clear is it clear yes ma'am yes, ma you can yeah. okay okay any other question till now ma'am can you please tell the difference between complete plagiarism and direct plagiarism 
yes i i can tell you uh, okay let me just show you that right can you just see my screen yes ma'am okay this is a research paper right somebody else research paper is there is it what is the title of the research paper what is the title of the research paper adoption adaptation and integration okay so what i do i like this paper very much so what i'll do i'll just uh, uh, completely copy it right completely copy it suppose i just completely copy it and paste it this is my paper now i will just publish it so which form is this Complete. Complete. This is complete one. This is complete one, right? Okay. Again, coming to this research paper, I just liked this paragraph, right? I like this paragraph. Now, what I'll do? I'll just copy it directly and paste it exactly without making the changes. This is direct plagiarism. <clears throat> Clear? Okay, ma'am. Clear. Okay. Any other uh, doubt in some other kind of plagiarism? You may ask. I I'll just show you. Ma'am, what are your views on Chat GPT? Chat GPT is artificial intelligence uh, assistant. If you are using yes, it, uh, I would say that you have to train uh, artificial intelligence. Everyone, I think everyone is today uh, using that. But I would say that will. Uh, by using chat gpt you will become a lame person <laughs> uh, because uh, you will just sometimes what happens i use chat gpt uh, uh, i am not getting any kind of uh, resource or i just ask that we don't uh, get on citation on that we don't get a reference from where the chat gpt is producing the results we get we get it shows us still we can, get, we can get yes you can get I it you have today. to give me Uh, you have to give the instructions. Uh, you must know how to give the instructions to Chat G GPT, right? And the thing is that uh, it is having a database of two thousand twenty one till two thousand twenty one, right? Uh, nowadays, it's uh, showing two thousand twenty two also. It's showing that. But the thing is that you must know uh, how uh, cleverly you have to use that Chat GPT. Is it? I mean, even though it is lame, but there are many courts which are utilizing the same. Even Punjab and Haryana court has uh, utilized, I think, the same to to pass the judgment or an order. Yes, so. of course, but it cannot take the decisions. We can. I, I just told you about that. It is just an assistant. We can use it as an assistant. It can make our work fast. Yes, of course, it can make our work fast. But the decisions are to be taken by us only, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Uh, but I would recommend that uh, use not do not use free version, right? Only use the paid version. Okay. Uh, so any other question uh, regarding this? Now I'll just show you. Uh, okay. Any other student having any uh, doubts in the plagiarism types of plagiarism? Otherwise, we will move further. Further. Uh, no, ma'am. No doubts. You can move. Okay. So let me just show you one thing here. This is a plagiarism report of Turnitin. One of the student or one of the participant was asking about this, right? So uh, whenever we get the report, plagiarism report from the Turnitin, uh, we get the report in this form. Can you just uh, see this? Is it visible to all? Yes, ma'am. It is visible. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, so not going uh, to for uh, okay, not going to the article. I'll just start from the abstract. Can you just see the highlights here? In blue color. Yes, ma'am. It's, it's written four, uh, right? Four is the reference number. Uh, you can just see nine here, purple form. Acha, okay. Do tell me one thing. What kind of plagiarism it is? Is it showing? Which kind of plagiarism it is showing? We have done all kinds of plagiarisms. Can you just tell me what kind of plagiarism it is? Paraphrasing. 
is it showing para yes you can say one form of paraphrasing also because we have paraphrased the but it is also showing patchwork right patchwork is showing it's showing uh, patches it's showing the copied content in the patches but can you say that this plagiarism and, it is yes a mosaic plagiarism it is yes mosaic or patchwork we can say it is a patchwork or mosaic but can you say that this word direct is being copied this work from is being copied different uh, word sometimes what happens we don't copy it but it shows that it is being copied so we have to just change those words that means we have to use the synonyms for those words that means uh, we have to just search for uh, what is the synonyms of for direct what is the synonym we can use here or how can we just change the language here right so otherwise it will show the plagiarism okay coming here this is all patchwork is it now you can just see here in this paragraph there is no plagiarism is it so no hi highlights no highlights we will just come to the end there is no paragraph okay can you just see here all the lines are being plagiarized here now the thing is that whenever we are using uh, please uh, 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 turn off your mic somebody is having their mic on please turn off your mic okay so uh, whenever i i would just use the me measurement scale right uh, so that scale a uh, standard scale i have to copy it right from where i am using from the source so that will be shown here that is being copied so we can change the language here or we can just avoid it you can just see we are using the scale as it is so whenever we are using the standard scale all those who are, who know what is a standard scale or a questionnaire we are talking about so we have to use the same statements we can just use the uh, we can just make minor changes in those right so it is showing all those statements to be plagiarized okay at the end we get the report i'll just take you at the end so these all are references after the references i get my report can you just see this report here this is the report by turnitin software can you just see yes or no yes ma'am no. yes ma'am yes. so this is the this is the originality report 27% of plagiarism or the similarity index is being found it has also told that 22% are internet sources 23% are publications and 9% are student papers now you have just seen this number and uh, color on uh, the lines highlighted with these uh, colors isn't it in the paper so it is being showing that number 1 source is having 3% of plagiarism number 2 source is having 3% of plagiarism that means maximum plagiarism is from these sources right so if we just remove 3% 3% and 2% that means we can remove 8% of plagiarism from here some of the research uh, what we'll say publication houses are having a criteria of uh, minimum 10% of plagiarism is being allowed right some are saying 0% plagiarism is allowed so we can just act accordingly you can just see also one person can provide the site link right if the, it is showing us that the same content has been copied and we are getting the source if we provide mm -hmm. it in footnotes then the source won't be a copied source right it, because we are giving due credits to the same we have already given credits to the same but sometimes what happens it's saying uh, this is what is you know plagiarism when we talk about this is also one form of artificial intelligence right although we have used our own words but sometimes what happens although we have used quillboot to change the language or paraphrase although we are using different kind of uh, uh, softwares to change the language also because we are not having uh, time for the same or uh, even if we are using chat gpt for the same right but still uh, it shows a human error that means uh, somewhere or somewhat it it just pick up the sentences or the phrases so we have to just change the language for the same even if we have cited them even we if we have used the references or quoted them in the references is it yes ma'am and sometimes all, uh, it also takes up uh, the source is something else altogether like few common words are in relation to that particular source 
but the hmm. paper which it's showing is uh, something else on leaf cell rather than the one connected to the one we are drafting are you so are you talking about, are you talking about chat gpt no 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 plagiarism only the when we check the get the report sometimes the links which are it showcasing are not in okay, relation okay, to okay, our okay. topic so i would like to tell you why it happens uh, we have to quote exactly we have to see the reference sometimes what happens we make some kind of mistake in our reference some of uh, the references are similar some of the authors are similar which have worked upon different papers but authors name are same right uh, so uh, even the year of publication is also same but their work is different right their topics are different so we have to see that we have quoted those uh, the the references are right or not there is certain difference between them also is it so we have to just uh, check them again and again yes ma'am understood ma'am yeah okay is it clear to all so this is what i have just shown you one plagiarism uh, report for the same you can just see less than 1% less than 1% even there are some of the uh, you know this is a uh, intelligence artificial intelligence so it will just pick up uh, any any kind of word that is being copied or not copied also i i just told you unintentional or intentional one okay anybody having any kind of doubt till now yes or no are you people listening or not okay yes, let me just let me just ask you one question right let me just ask you one question okay so i am just putting one link in the chat box just answer for the same i think you people are sleeping just answer for the same hurry up i just want to see your answers let us just see your answers see your answers i have shared one link in the chat box please don't write or annotate okay so uh, kindly just answer for the same fast fastly just click on the link Ma'am, I don't think some of us have received it. Uh, can you just share it again? If I possible? just shared it again. Once yes, ma'am. Uh, there is no link. It's showing. Okay, it's showing uh, directly to some other person. One second. Is it visible now? Yes, ma'am. Now it is. Shared. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Just just answer it. Okay, Rajma, it's not done. 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 हो जाएगा जो हंड्रेड परसेंट टारगेट करो हाँ जी ये किन कौन है जो फोन पे बात कर रहे हैं भाई ये कैसा आंसर रहा शुड इज द आंसर फॉर द सेम सो देर आर सेवन ऑप्शन यू शुड नॉट राइट हाई हेलो और शुड राइट यू शुड राइट बट यू हैव जस्ट लर्न वट काइंड ऑफ प्लेजरिज्म वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट इट विल वेरी शेमफुल इफ यू आर इफ यू are not able to write even single plagiarism type that means you were not listening okay only mosaic plagiarism and direct plagiarism even if those people who were not attentive who have just muted and you they were doing their own work please look into that how many types of plagiarism are there right patchwork plagiarism accidental द ग्रास ग्रास कहां से आया भाई दिस इज वट इज नॉलेज यू कैन जस्ट सी कंप्लीट प्लेजरिज्म यस ऑफ कोर्स पैराफ्रेज अन इंटेंशनल वेरी गुड इनडायरेक्ट प्लेजरिज्म वट इज दैट 
I've talked about direct plagiarism, not indirect. Okay, so all these. Very good. So these are self-plagiarism. Yes, of course, one person have talked about self-plagiarism. Okay, that's good. Okay, uh, do tell me one thing. Now, anybody is having any kind of doubt uh, regarding the plagiarism, you may ask. Uh, hello, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Uh, may I know uh, your name, please? Uh, hello, I'm Aninda. Okay, okay, I Aninda, what's your question? Uh, actually, uh, I uh, just attempted a research paper recently. That okay. is on under trial, under trial uh, human and legal rights of under okay. trial prisoners in India. Okay. Uh, so I uh, checked throughout a doubly checker as hmm. it's a version. Uh, my, organi uh, my organization uh, to whom I sent the paper for publication, they had hmm. checked uh, through uh, the torturing one. And uh, the doubly checker is showing 8% of plagiarism, whereas the torturing uh, is showing 27% of plagiarism. So Very good question. Very good question. Which one okay. will be valid? T Turnitin is uh, giving the accurate, mm -hmm. if I, I would say, is more accurate, right? You should go with the Turnitin. Uh, even if I talk about Urkund and Turnitin, uh, free, uh, you have just used Jupli Checker, Right? How much uh, percentage is it is being showing? Eight percent, ma'am. Eight percent. Okay, and turn it in. And double check, uh, and that doctrine is showing uh, twenty-seven percent of plagiarism. Yes, yes, yes. You will face such kind of problem. Even if you'll you'll just check on double checker, it's eight percent. You will check on Urkund, it will be fourteen percent, right? Fifteen percent, and turn it in will give you more accurate results. I would like to say, go for Turnitin, right? If you just uh, want to just publish in good journals, high impact factor journals, you just go for Turnitin. You should just uh, get it checked into Turnitin. Yes? Right? Yeah, ma'am. I got my answer. Thank you, ma'am, for your... You're welcome. Any other questions, students or participants? Okay, yes, Kavya? Uh, Ma'am, uh, I had a question like uh, uh, when you had suggested various free sites which uh, show the plagiarism, but yes. uh, what if those, because like uh, uh, when I wrote uh, one of my papers for the college, so what mm -hmm. happened was these free plagiarism websites, they only allow us to like search for 500 or max to max thousand words. So yes. now when I had searched for like um, uh, my essay was a 3000 word essay. Hmm. So I had searched in three different websites. So now how do I calculate how like what is my total plagiarism percentage? Because that will become very difficult if I uh, like don't get an accurate result. Okay. So the thing is uh, a very right question you are asking because uh, whenever we are not has, uh, having an access to the paid versions, we just go for the free versions. And free versions are having a limit of some words, right? So you have, uh, nowadays we are having, uh, I think, 1,000 words or 2,000 words for, uh, you can just check. You may get two or three reports for the same, right? But we just require a single report for the same. For the single report, you have to go for Urkund, Turnitin, or some other paid versions. If your organization or the college or the institute is asking for some kind of paper, then do ask them. The, to give the assess to you for the same or uh, just ask your faculty. Are you a student? Yes, ma'am. Okay, just ask your faculty uh, teachers, right? Uh, they must have the assess for the same. Uh, just request them. Uh, just send your paper to them. They will just provide you with the uh, report for the same. Maybe Urkund or maybe Turnitin. Okay, right? ma'am. Thank you. Uh, Thank when you. when you just go for the free versions, na, that means you uh, can just check them in patches. That means the uh, first thousand words, yes, you have just checked and now you are confident that your plagiarism is less. But then next thousand words, 
but whenever you have to give or submit a report for the paper or a research article, then you have to just check it out uh, in that, uh, what we'll say, paid versions. Okay, ma'am. And what about if it's for competitions? Because in competitions, we won't have the access uh, for the like the college authorities cannot give us the access, right? Like if it's for college work, it's fine. But like uh, if just, it's for the change, competition, just change the language. You may change the language. I'll just show you. Can you just uh, see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, this is this is Quill Board. I have just taken both the paid versions for Grammarly and Quill Board. Is it? So when mm -hmm. I'll just uh, click on quill board, you may just uh, take the uh, uh, assess for the board. Sorry to interrupt. Yes. Uh, I think your screen got freezed. Uh, my screen got freezed. One second. You cannot see it. This is a document. Ma'am, it's all right from my end. I don't know what's wrong with others. Yes. I can see your document, but you are talking about a quill board. Uh, yes, I, I'm I... just showing you. Okay, okay. Maybe possible it's uh, slow due to some network. Now, can you just see it? Yes, ma'am. Now it's visible, the quill board uh, tab on one side. Yes, yes, yes. I've just clicked on launch quill board, right? Uh, I think the meeting is just going to get over, right? The, I, uh, maybe possible this is the last question. So, yes, uh, look. What I do, I just want to change the language of this portion, right? I've just selected it. Automatically, it came here on right hand side. The term interdisciplinary is discussed 107 words. I'm just clicking on paraphrase, right? Paraphrase means that means it will change the language for me. It has changed the language. That means it has rephrased. I didn't like it, right? I again say rephrase it. It will again rephrase it. I got this. I'll just copy it and I'll just replace it. What we'll say this was that means now this portion have changed. Is it clear? Now, when we talk about will vote, it gives us zero plagiarism. So whenever you are just going for any kind of assessment uh, assignment or any kind of uh, assignment for uh, paper for the college, as a student, you may change the language from here. Now you may, you can uh, blindly, you can just trust any uh, uh, software. You should just see the language, whether it's applicable to you or, or whether the complete meaning has changed or not, right? So you have to act accordingly and change the language by yourself, but this quill board will help. It will be acting as a paraphraser here, right? So mm -hmm. online free, free versions are also there for the quill board, but uh, number of the words are limited for the same. You may use it freely online also. Yes? Remember, mm -hmm. Turnitin can identify the AI tools also. Yes, it can, but in the report, it doesn't come. Right? Okay, ma'am. Okay. And we are giving out secrets. Yes? Uh, ma'am, there is one question from my side. Yes? Uh, uh, when we submit, for example, I submitted a um, blog to a college report and hmm. uh, the college committee sent me a mail that your uh, subject uh, shows use of AI. Hmm. And okay. all, all it, uh, I guess I, I use uh, quill boss as paraphrases maybe. Hmm. Uh, but now it shows that uh, it uses AI uh, and that, right. uh, in that case, what we can do. In that case, I have already told you that we should never use completely all artificial intelligence or all the softwares. We are humans. We have mind. We have brains, right? So we have to convert it in other languages. Our language we can use. We can just change the phrases. Now, the thing is that uh, in order to just remove the, uh, this lecture is not regarding artificial intelligence, right? Uh, okay. So uh, the thing is that you can just change the phrases inside that, right? Uh, Health related sciences are carried out. You may just uh, go, uh, take this phrase in front of that and change. It will change the somewhat. It will change the language of the sentence, right? When you will just check it online, there are some uh, uh, what we'll say softwares, free softwares where you can just check whether it's human text or whether it's uh, artificial intelligence, right? It will show zero uh, artificial intelligence. Online there are many. You may just find it. 
right if there is some other session on this i will just tell you completely for that thank you so much okay. thank you so welcome yes, any other question yes yes ma'am okay uh, ma'am if we want to uh, check the plagiarism from turnkin soft, uh, software and uh, the university or colleges have no access then what mm -hmm. should we do give me some suggestions ma'am now okay even my university was not having the access right what i do i, I just uh, contact my colleagues uh, from the previous organization or some other organizations one of my colleague is from iims right so i just send uh, my papers to him he just check it right and just send me the report so in this way you can do it you may just contact make collaborations make networks that is why we say that in research we need networks there are uh, hundreds of people are in this group whatsapp group make networks right okay ma'am thank you thank okay. you so much ma'am any other question okay so uh, i think no further questions uh, shalini ma'am Uh, yes, ma'am. Let us uh, just. End.